Hey everyone! Well, I just came home and I found that my package had arrived. I ordered a new violin case last week and it arrived today. <laughs> and I thought, well, why not unbox this baby together with you? So, let's go! <laughs> Um, I have been looking for a nice violin case for a while now, but I just couldn't find one that also looked nice. And then I saw a case that actually, in the pictures, had basically my name written all over it. And I think you'll see why in a bit. Um, as you might have guessed, I like a bit of color. Already. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> it is an Alice in Wonderland themed violin case. And ah, I think it's so cool. Um, but okay, let's unwrap it. I saw this one and I thought, well. <laughs> and I thought, man. Um, Condom. Okay. Delete that. Ta -da! Oh, there's a bunny playing violin. Oh, look, 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 look. There's even a bunny on it playing a tiny violin. It's so cute. Oh boy, oh boy. I think it's, well, I think it looks really fun. The big balloon and the, the big balloon and the teacups and the monkeys and such. The... Oh, here he's playing a trumpet, look. And it feels, and it feels a bit silky, uh, silky, I guess. Okay, let's open this. strap and another strap I hope you can see this I'll move to the window so you can see yes here you can see um, there is obviously a room for your violin and then there is a compartment here um, I'm not sure if it would hold my shoulder rest, but who knows? And then we have a tiny box here. Okay, let's see if my violin fits in here. Well, it seems like it fits nicely. There's a strap as well. And the scroll of the violin seems to float just above the bottom of the case, which is good. Then I have my shoulder rest, which oh, fits nicely in here. I think I would still need a cloth to cover the violin. Um, It looks sturdy, it closes very well. Uh, the thing is, I really like hard shell cases, but the downside to that is that you have no room for sheet music. But then I could always put my sheet music in a bag. And I also like how this is a shaped case, so it doesn't take up that much room. But of course, the downside of having a shaped case is that there's not much room for things like rosin and 
uh, extra strings and such. So I'll go grab my rosin and such and see how much of that I can actually fit in here. I'll be right back. Okay, in my other violin case, there is obviously more room to store things. Like this whole compartment here. In here I have um, violin strings and a pencil. I would have to store it underneath the neck probably. Um, a pencil would go here. And this tiny compartment here could easily hold a block of rosin. Okay, long story short, the thing that was really drawing me towards this case was one, the looks, <laughs> but two, um, the fact that it's very compact. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm keeping this violin case, and if I end up not keeping this violin case, it would be because of the storage. Or lack of storage in this case. Okay, so I will um, rethink and review this violin case in the following days and then I'll make my final decision. But I thought it could at least be handy or um, informative for you guys to know what it looks like, what's inside, how big it actually is. This unboxing video could be very helpful for any of you who are thinking of buying this case. For yourself. Um, I'll keep you guys updated about whether I'm keeping this filing case or if I end up returning this one and buying another one. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.